Well, here we are again for another Monday Music with Milani, part of WPSU's virtual summer camps. And let's just get right to the music. trusty baritone ukulele ready for some more themed fun. You want to make sure that you check in on Mondays for Monday Music with Milani. Tuesdays are cooking. Wednesday are Wednesday walks. Thursday is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And Friday is art, all with WPSU. Well, what we usually do is just go right into a song. So this week won't be any different. This is a motion song, however, and I wonder if you will guess it if I give you some hints. Okay, so here's the first hint. Here's the second hint. What did I just do? I showed you my head and my shoulder. And the next hint is going to be, you can't see it, but it's my knee. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So many smart people with us here. So Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes is a traditional song. Uh, when I researched it, it went back to 1961 or 1963 for one of the first times that it was seen. And it has gone to many countries. There are different versions of this song in many places. So if you have not done this song before, it is very simple. When you hear the word head, you touch your head. Hear the word shoulders, touch your shoulders, knees, and then your toes. That's right. And then they go to your eyes and ears and mouth and nose. That's right. And then we go right back to head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And you notice that there's a nice rhythm to the words. I'm going to show you the song and then we're going to mix it up a little bit and the pattern and the rhythm will seem a little bit different. So we use these chords. Those are really the, well, that one's in there too. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna say the words. You just show the various parts that are mentioned in the song. Okay. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Too fast that's too fast so let's do like that head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes you're doing so well it is a little bit so fast eyes and ears and mouth and nose head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes I'm just doing this with my hand you're the ones at home going Oh, 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 like this. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time, but now we're going to mix it up. Instead of head, shoulders, knees, and toes, what would happen if we did it completely backwards? Instead of starting with head, we would start with toes. That's right. So it would go toes, knees, and shoulders, head. Shoulders, head. It's probably easier for you to get it if you see me doing the motions too. Okay, so here it is again. Toes, knees, and shoulders, head. Shoulders, head. Do that again. Toes, knees, and shoulders, head. Shoulders, head. Very good. So what about the rest of it? If we do that backwards, that would be and nose and mouth and ears and eyes. That's right. Toes, knees and shoulders, head, shoulders, head. You've got it. But I will say the words, and we'll do this one more slowly because 
you probably have never done this one this way. So we will go, start with your toes. Toes, knees and shoulders, head, shoulders, head, go back to toes. Toes, knees and shoulders, head, shoulders, head, that's good. And nose, and mouth, and ears, and eyes, so good. Toes, knees and shoulders, head, shoulders, head, go back to the beginning. Toes, knees and shoulders, head, shoulders, head, oh you're doing that very well. Toes, knees and shoulders, head, shoulders, head, and nose, and mouth, and ears, and eyes. Toes, knees and shoulders, head, shoulders, head. You know what, I think it's much more work to do it backwards than it is to do it forwards. Now that we've learned both ways, let's go back to the first way, which is the way most people know it, and it starts with head. Okay, so don't do the way we just did. We're going back to the original way. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, you did that so well. Okay, we're gonna do it just a little bit faster, not too fast. I think I did it too fast right at the beginning there. We will go this fast. Ready, go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, you did that so well. I clap for you. And you know, you can make some more up with that song. Instead of head, shoulders, knees and toes, what are some other parts? You could do thumbs, chins, and nose, and forehead, nose and forehead. You want to pick things that are fairly close together so it's not too much work to go bouncing all around pointing at them. That might work. Um, what are some other ones? Try to make them funny. You could go teeth, ears and hair and neck, hair and neck. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Okay, you, you guys suggest some. What do you say? Wrists, okay, yeah. So wrists, elbows, shoulders, and head. Okay, shoulders and head. Yeah, you can use the same ones over again. That's totally fine to do. So next time you're in a long line, next time you are in a car with your grown-up and you're waiting at a traffic light and it's just not moving, it might be time to break out some head, shoulders, knees, and toes and some other very creative ways that you could also do it. All right, get ready for the next song. See you in a minute. Well, we're back for our second song. And the first song, you might have noticed, had some rhyming words in it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Toes rhymes with nose. It was at the end of the line after that. Um, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. You can hear that rhyme. So the next song is also a rhyming song and this is one where again, just like the first one, it's very fun to make up your own rhymes, especially once you've figured out what the pattern is, then you get to change it. If you've noticed this about music, first we set up a pattern and once you know what the pattern is, then you are able to change it. That's true with words too. You have to learn what all the words are before you can then say, well now I'm going to start mixing it up on my own. have to start from somewhere. So this is a traditional song as well, and this one has some rhymes in it that say, did you ever see a, let's just use one, goose kissing a moose. Some people already know what this song is. Okay, you guys are well versed on your songs. Have you ever seen a goose kissing a moose down by the bay? That's right, Down by the Bay is the name of this song. So, is 
that a C? That's a G. I almost started on the wrong chord. That wouldn't have sounded good at all. All right, so listen to the first part. If you don't know this song, you'll know it very well because it goes around and around. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do Somebody might say And then we start the rhyming part. It says, Have you ever seen a bear combing his hair? Down by the bay, down by the bay Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do Somebody might say Here's another rhyme Have you ever seen a goose? You know this one Kissing a moose You got it down by the bay Down by the bay Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do Somebody might say seen a whale with a polka dotted tail down by the bay down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home I dare not go for if I do somebody might say oh let's do the fly one have you ever seen a fly wearing a tie down by watermelons grow back to my home I dare not go for if I do somebody might say let's do a really funny one let's do the llama one did you ever see a llama wearing pajamas down by the bay down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home I dare not go Somebody might say, oh, let's do a cat. Did you ever see a cat wearing a hat down by the bay? Let's do a dog. Did you ever see a dog kissing a frog down by the bay? Let's do a bee. Did you ever see a bee bending on his knee down by the bay, down by the bay? Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do Somebody might say Let's do This one doesn't make sense But I kind of like that kind Did you ever see a bus Making a fuss Down by the bay That's silly Let's do a bird What rhymes with bird? Did you ever see a bird spelling a word down by the bay? What would rhyme with snake? Oh, I know. Okay, there's at least two rhymes that would fit in there. Okay, let's say, did you ever see a snake eating some cake down by the bay? There's another rhyme you could put with snake. What else rhymes with snake? Cake. Rake. Let's try it. Did you ever see a snake using a rake down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, somebody might say, oh, let's see, let's do, did you ever see a fox sitting in a box? Down by the bay. Oh, let's do another one that's kind of silly. They're all silly, but let's do a really silly one. Did you ever see an armadillo eating a pillow? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do, somebody might say, you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Probably not. 
certainly not for me. Down by the bay, did you make a big commotion out in the ocean? Down by the bay. Oh, I know. Okay, let's do. Did you ever see a deer twirling his ear? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, somebody might say, there really never was a time that we couldn't mix some rhymes. Not together, anyway. Down by the bay. Oh, so good. All right. See you for the next song. Well, we've had an awful lot of fun doing some nice general music, but now it's time to turn to the part where we talk about our theme for the week. This week's theme is Africa. Africa, like Asia, which we did last week, has many countries within one continent. There are about 50, sta 50 countries within Africa. We are not going to write a song this week about all the countries in Africa. That would be very long. So instead, what I did was I found two things from Africa to share with you today. One of them is a counting rhyme, and the other one is a special song. Well, I'm going to show you what the counting rhyme is first. So I'm going to put my ukulele down because we don't need uh, an instrument for this. We are the instrument for this. Here I go. Put the ukulele down. Pop back up. Okay, so this is a counting rhyme from Africa, and it has funny nonsense words. So you know when we say eeny, meeny, miny, mo, they're words that don't really mean anything? Well, this is true in other countries too. In Africa, they say, ana, 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 do. Kachanika basto. Ooh, those words have a lot of, mmm, a lot of pattern, a lot of beat to them. Isparingi matido, anaqua, anaqua, duku duku lemba quafus. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. You know what'll make even more exciting? Let's put some extra rattle and beat to it. So, ana, 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 do. Can you hear? Boom, 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 boom in the middle of those words. Well, guess what? I'm going to put some emphasis on the strong beats with this, and I'm going to do this. Ana, 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 do. Wait a minute, you thought I was gonna shake this, didn't you? You thought I was going to go like this. Well, sometimes you can play a percussion instrument like this, this is a shaker, by doing this instead. Hold this in your fist and pound it into your other fist. Listen to how nice and sharp that is. How strong, much more than doing that. Hear how there's just extra stuff? That's more controlled. So we're going to try it that way. Uh, ana, 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 do, kachanika, basto, isparingi, mati, do, ana, qua, ana, qua, duku, duku, lemba, quafus. Can you hear? So there will be some good points for me to do this. Are there rules? No, not really. Whatever feels good. That's kind of why we make up those silly sounding syllables in the first place just for fun. This is just for fun. So I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do it this way. Ana, 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 do. Kachanika, basto. Isparingi, mati, do. Ana, qua. Ana, qua. Duku, duku, lemba, quafus. Oh, that sounded wonderful. Can I do it a different way? Yeah, I bet I can. Let's do, how shall I do it this time? You know you can make them swirl like this and have the sound go longer. You can also do, beat this off of your hand. You could probably do this. Ooh, that got a cool kind of echoing thing going on. I don't know if I can keep that up though. We're doing it just for fun, so let's try it again. You're already starting to learn it, aren't you? Ana, 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 do. Do that with me. Ana, 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 do. Ana, 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 do. Ana, 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 do. Do you want to use some hands? Do you want to clap somewhere or snap your fingers? Let's try that. Ana, 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 do. Ana, 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 do. Let's keep going. Ana, 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 do. Kachanika basu. Isparingi mati do. Ana, qua. 
Ana Qua Duku Duku Lemba Quafus. Oh, that just feels so good to do. I'm gonna put this down because this was just for fun and to show you there are some things that can be done with it. But now I'm just gonna clap. Shall we go this speed? Can you make your hands do the same speed as me? Going? Okay, go. Here we go. Ana, 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 do. Catch a nika basto. Isperingi mati do. Ana, qua, Ana, qua. Duku, duku, lemba quafus. See, the clapping of the hands kept us all doing it the same speed together. What happens if I'm in charge, because I kind of am, because I'm the one in front of you right now? What if I speed up? Do you speed up with me? You're going to. At least I think you are. Let's try it. Ready? Ana, 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 do. Catch a nika basto. Isperingi mati do. Ana qua, Ana qua, duku duku lemba quapus. Oh, that was delightful. Oh, I liked it very well. Now we have a song. Here I go to get the ukulele. So that was Swahili that we were just saying. It was just made up syllables of Swahili, but it was based on the Swahili language, which many people in Africa use. So now, ah, we're already at the last song. Can you believe it? It went by so fast today. So this song is also from Africa, but it is from Niger, Congo. That could be an area, but it's also um, a language family. There are a lot of languages that kind of blend into each other in a lot of countries. That is true in Africa. So this one, is called Iro Ye. Iro I R O Ye Y E. Iro Ye. It is a lullaby that you would sing to someone trying to sleep. In this case, it's about a little child, and the little child's name is Iro. When you do this song, you can put in the name of someone you are singing to. So instead of Iro Ye, you could say your name, yay, or someone else in your family's name, yay, if that's who you're singing to. So I'm just going to hum the melody for you first so you know what it sounds like. And it's very pretty. Just listen. There's no words yet. This is just the melody. myself these words. It's good to try new things, everybody, isn't it? Okay, of course it is. Here's the words. I'm so proud of myself. Well, I hope you had a good time with our visit today. Today was Monday Music with Milani, and tomorrow, Tuesday, we will have cooking. Wednesday is walks, Wednesday walks. Thursday is Thursday STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And then Friday, Friday, art. Don't forget, WPSU, virtual summer camp. Gonna sing you out. Lulu, lulu, lulu. 